Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to Iron Mine Blocks. In this video I'll be sharing with you the Kudo Miner. Secondly, I'll also be showing you how you can get your hands on a brand new MSI RTX 2070. So this video has been kindly sponsored by the team at Kudo Ventures and they're the creators of the Kudo Miner. The Kudo Miner is an all-in-one package that can help you get mining. What it incorporates is several miners, pools, the payout system, you can choose to use the miner um, in lots of different ways and it's a really good all-round package. It supports Windows, Mac OS and also Linux. So for you guys, if you're just getting started mining, I think it could be a very good miner for you. If you're a bit more experienced but you're looking for a simpler or more profitable operation, then again, I think this could be a suitable miner for you guys. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the Kudo Miner in detail, I'll sharing with you what I like and what I don't like, and present that to you, and you can decide for yourselves whether it's a suitable choice for you. At the end of the video, I'll discuss more details on how you can get your hands on a brand new RTX 2070 as part of that competition. So uh, let's jump into it. Okay guys, so let's get started with the Kudo Miner. So the first thing that you want to do is use the link in the video description to, that will take you to the Kudo Miner website. You must use that link if you want to be eligible for the competition for the graphics card. So please use that link to get started. After using the link in the video description, it will take you to the Kudo Miner website. And then from there, you can visit the download page. Choose a miner that's appropriate to you. I'm going to be using the Windows Miner. So you want to select that and download it, of course. From there, you can start the installation. The next part that you'll need to do is sign up. The sign up process is super easy, it's literally just your name and email address. Once the install process is complete and you've gone through the sign up, you can then start the miner for the very first time. So I'll show you what that looks like now. It's obviously on our desktop and we've got the Kudo miner, so we just double click the icon and start it up, same as you would any other normal program. So I'll take you through some of the options, um, let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see a little more clearly. So the option that you want to press or the first button that you want to press is this enable button. So you click on that and what it's going to do first of all, it's going to benchmark your hardware. So I think it goes through 11 or 12 uh, tests. It takes probably just a few minutes to get completed, but what it's going to do is benchmark your graphics card and also your CPU. It's going to test those with different algorithms to see what the performance is like and what the characteristics are like for each uh, potential mining application. After that, it will automatically select um, the most appropriate or the most profitable mining algorithm for you. And then that by default is uh, paid back out to you in Bitcoin. So I'll talk uh, a little bit more in detail about some of the features and a few of the things that you can change to kind of customize it or make it really work and get the best out of this for yourself. So on the main interface, you can see that we've got the CPU is currently set to none. I'm not using the CPU uh, miner at the moment. To enable that, you just click on this tab box, uh, switch box um, here, and that will also enable CPU mining. I think the only CPU mining option is uh, Monero, and uh, with most CPUs, unless you've got like a Ryzen uh, CPU, it's probably not going to be very profitable. In fact, it's probably going to be detrimental to your profit. So I probably wouldn't recommend CPU mining, like I say, unless you've got a Ryzen processor. On the CPU mine in front, you can see that we have selected and it's running and we are currently mining Ravencoin. So the miner, the Kudo miner has determined that uh, Ravencoin is currently the most profitable mining um, algorithm and that's going to get us the best rewards. Uh, just to make you aware, the graphics card in this is a GTX um, 1080 Ti. I checked on what to mine um, yesterday, uh, put my... Uh, uh, selecting my 1080 Ti and uh, again it was Ravencoin so it does seem that this uh, application does provide um, what it's supposed to it selects the correct uh, and most appropriate algorithm to get the best profits so you can see here we've got this GPU selection and it's currently set to auto so the miner will automatically choose which algorithm is the most profitable for you to mine in addition to that you can also use this drop down and you can select obviously auto which is currently set to or you can choose um, from a, a range of different ones. One of the new features that they've added or one of the new algorithms is Grin. So if you're looking for a super easy uh, miner that supports Grin, then this might be something for you. Um, you've also got Ethereum, of course, Ethereum Classic, Monero, Ravencoin, Bitcoin Gold, Grin, Verge, and Vertcoin. 
So there's um, quite a selection there. Um, there are certainly you know, a lot of the common sort of coins. I would imagine for most people, you're probably gonna spend most of your time using this mining. It'll probably be mining Ethereum, Ravencoin, Monero, perhaps depending on exactly what uh, graphics card you've got, and um, Grin. Uh, I think they're probably gonna be the most ones. I'm just gonna leave it to Auto. That seems to be doing like, I say quite a good job checking it first is uh, what to mine and it did pick the correct algorithm for me that's going to get me the best profit so that's good on the right hand side you've got this payout coin so this is quite an interesting feature of the kudo miner you by default it's set to bitcoin so although we're mining ravencoin it's automatically exchanged and converted into bitcoin so we're going to be earning bitcoin no matter what we're mining uh, with this setting uh, but what you can also do is you can choose to select other payout coins. So for example, when you're mining Ravencoin, uh, you can be paid out in Ravencoin too, if that's how you wanna kind of like take your profits off the table. You can also kind of mix and match, so you can be mining Monero and taking Raven or mining Raven and taking Monero. The only thing that you can't do at the moment is with Grin. If you set your uh, mining option to mining Grin, you get your payouts also in Grin. So uh, just bear that in mind. Uh, looking uh, further down at the um, interface, you can see we've obviously got the device that we're using. I've just got a single graphics card in this particular machine. It's currently mine at 99% usage and it's running a little bit hot. The fan is running at 55%. So there is some tuning optimization that you can do. Um, I'll talk about those in just a minute. What you might also want to do is what I prefer to do with this is use it with MSI Afterburner. This allows me to uh, change the core clock and also the memory uh, frequencies, uh, but also the, the primary reason that what I use it is I have a custom fan profile. So you can see there, I've just hit that. The custom fan profile using MSI Afterburner and it's gonna reduce our temperature down to less than 70, which is where I like it. You might be able to hear that fan noise uh, in the background. But going back into the Kudo Miner, let's take a, a look at some of the options and a few more details uh, regarding this one. So you can see up in the top left hand corner, I've got my balance, which is in Bitcoin and it's in Satoshi's. So 18,683, currently around about 71 cents um, as a uh, dollar basis. You can also see that I am mining obviously just on that single GPU and we've also got the daily earnings potential. So it's just under 21,000 Satoshi's on a daily basis and um, I'll also show you on a monthly basis, 630,000 Satoshis monthly, just with this single GPU mining, based on all of the current uh, information. Uh, a little bit further down as well, in the sort of midsection, you can also see the power usage of the graphics card. So you might wanna tweak it, like I say, you can use it um, in the miner itself, or use an MSI afterburner to bring that wattage down perhaps, uh, maybe use like a 75% uh, power limit or something that probably works quite well for a lot of NVIDIA cards. You get the same performance, but it uses less power and also less heat. Taking a look at a few of the tabs. So you can see I'm an early adopter. Uh, what I've arranged with uh, the Kudo Ventures is that if you download using my link and set it up, you'll get a 10,000 Satoshi bonus. So like I say, it's well worth your while using that link. You'll also be eligible for the... Um, GPU competition, which I'll be talking about more in just a moment. If we click on stats, you can see we've got a little bit of information here. Um, I was mining, I've been probably mining roughly for about 24 hours in total, uh, mined uh, quite a bit yesterday, done quite a bit of testing with the miner, and um, then again um, this morning. So you can see here uh, what the current sort of a breakdown is. So what it shows you is this uh, amount of Satoshis per hour. So you can see it's kind of fairly consistent for at least the last couple of hours. Uh, before that, I was doing some uh, tinkering, uh, changing some settings. Uh, further down, I've also got a total uh, lapsed mining time, which is currently 17 hours. So not quite the 24 hours um, just yet. You've also got obviously the month tab as well, which is gonna show you how you're doing on a monthly basis. So it's quite nice to see just your earnings paying out on a daily and monthly basis. So one of the other cool uh, things with the Kudo Miner is it also has a referrals program. So obviously with you guys using my link, uh, that's a referral to me, but you can also refer other people to use your link as well. So if you've got any friends or family that are interested in the crypto mining, you can give it, share them your link and you can earn a little bit uh, back from them. The way it works is they mine and you get a tiny percentage of that. So it's the same for you guys. If you use my link, I'll get a tiny percentage back on your mining efforts and that um, comes back to me so that helps 
uh, it obviously increase my balance, uh, but you guys can also do that uh, for yourselves. So that's um, you know quite a cool feature and it's well worth um, undoing. So taking a look at the settings, this is a little bit more advanced, but there's not really an awful lot to it. So like I say, uh, on that first page, you've got the CPU uh, mining option, you can turn that on or off. Uh, one other option that I would have quite liked is that if you could disable GPU mining, but have CPU mining on, so the reverse of that, but that's um, not an option. There's also the GPU usage limit. You can use that as a slider and set exactly what you want. And um, when I did test it previously, um, I tested it with another graphics card. It was a GTX uh, 970, but that um, GPU usage limit didn't seem to work quite as well. And let me just try it again and see whether it has an, an effect. So we just drop it down to 75% and I'll just check in the um, stats in a moment, see what effect that has. So you've got a few different options. So you can pause while the computer is in use. So basically it's like an automatic setting. You turn that on when you're using a computer, the miner shuts off. And when you're idle, the miner starts uh, back up. You can also schedule a use. So for example, if you wanna use the computer all throughout the day and then turn the miner on so it just runs at the night time, um, you can use that option. So it's just like a timer scheduling system. A launch on startup, if you want the miner to program to start up when you start your computer, you can turn that on, saves manually turn it on I suppose and also um, when started um, I've got that office but you can turn that on as well so with these two settings when you start your computer the miner will automatically start it will open up and it will automatically start further down this is kind of a, an important one increased profitability you want to turn this on like I say I've already got it on there what it does is downloads third party miners. So it's gonna give you a broader or wider range of mining software and that will get you the best profitability. The only reason why they can have that option off is because um, some of the miners are closed source miners. So there is the potential for them to have any uh, little nasties in there but I don't really think that's um, a major concern. Um, like I always recommend, I, I would recommend keeping your mining machines kind of separate from your really important desktop machines uh, just for obviously security that would help you out there um, but turn that option on because it will give you the best um, profitability overall and then further down you've got enable overclock in settings for each algorithm i've got that set to off um, because I'm using the MSI Afterman, I'm more familiar with that, I'm more comfortable with it, and that's just personally how I like to use it. But if you guys want to uh, change custom settings for each algorithm, or if you know what works particularly well, for example, with Ravencoin or Ethereum, then you can turn that on and you can customize it. So when the miner is using that particular algorithm, it will give you the best um, performance um, uh, from that basis. Further down, we've got the CPU settings. So like I said, there's only the XM rig miner, so it's just gonna mine Monero, and uh, you can see my performance there is 207 hashes. That's with an overclocked um, i5-6600. Um, so it's quite a bad performance. And so the CPU mining, I wouldn't really recommend, like I say, unless you've got like a, um, a high spec Ryzen processor, that's probably really the only reason uh, you would use the CPU miner uh, with it. And further down, you can see these are some of the benchmark results. They're only like a 60 second benchmark, so they're not super accurate, more of a kind of like a rough idea of what the performance will be. You can also um, select each of the algorithms, kind of like do like a longer or re-benchmark, so that'll give you slightly more um, accurate results. Next tab is devices. So when you select devices, it actually takes you to the CUDA Miner website and automatically uh, logs you in. So you can see here, I've just got the one machine, also the OS that I'm using, GPUs, and the status is running. Uh, by the way, the version of the mine that I'm using is 13.3, so um, that's the most stable and current uh, release. Just uh, close that browser down. You'll also see transactions. So again, it opens up the mining revenue um, in a new window. And you can see here, uh, as time goes on, we get like transactions. So kind of a bit like when you mine to a pool, you get like a pending transaction and then like a confirmed transaction. So the process is very much the same um, also with the Kudo Miner. Okay, so from the Kudo Miner website, there's a few bits and pieces here that's probably worth showing you. So if you go to the dashboard, it shows you your mining efforts over time and also your earnings. So you can see that I've run it um, for a, a few different parts. So yesterday, which is the 28th of February, I mined um, I only started later on in the day, so 4,655 Satoshis. And for today, which has obviously been a longer period of time, so far, 9,109. Um, according to my mining stats, I was gonna run roughly around about 19,000 um, Satoshis per day with that uh, GTX um, 1080 Ti. 
Okay, back on the transactions tab, I just want to quickly show you guys how you make a withdrawal, if that's something that you guys um, probably want to do, you want to take your profits um, out from here. So on the transactions tab, you can see the transactions and also what's uh, confirmed. And then if you go to withdraw funds, from here you can see the current Bitcoin balance. You can see that I can set the withdrawal amount um, here. The minimum is 0.0025, so you can see I'm not quite at that minimum uh, just yet. So bear that in mind when you're mining, you need to hit that minimum amount before you can withdraw your funds. There is also a fee and there's the network fees um, as well, just like you have normal. Then at the bottom, you type your Bitcoin address where you want to withdraw those funds to. So bear that in mind. If you're going to start with this miner, it makes sense that once you have started with it, you need to continue um, at least until you get to that minimum Bitcoin balance. Otherwise, effectively, your funds will kind of be stuck. So once you have started, commit to it and then you'll be able to withdraw your funds. You're not going to lose anything. OK, back on the dashboard. So I know a lot of people are going to be asking what are the fees of the Kudo miner? So effectively, it's 5%. Um, first of all, that sounds like quite a high amount, but when you think about it, it's not really too bad because you would normally have your minor fees, you would have the pool fees, then you will also have like withdrawal fees when you're taking that money back off the pools. Um, the other part is that because of the auto exchange mechanism, if you're kind of, for example, if you're mining Ravencoin, you send it to an exchange and sell it for Bitcoin, that's another fee uh, process there as well. So 5%, like I say, it sounds a little bit um, higher initially, but when you compare it to the separate fees or the other sort of component parts, um, it's not too bad um, overall. Okay guys, so about that competition, if you want to enter the competition for a chance to win a brand new MSI RTX 2070, which looks like this, then here's what you need to do. You need to like this video, you need to comment down below, but most importantly, you need to use the download link in the video description and get started with the Kudo Miner. What this will do is it will make you, uh, as a referral from me, I'll be able to see um, a whole list of referrals. And from that referral list, which I'll show you just on the website now, like I say, it's currently at zero. From this list of referrals, so you have to use the Kudo Miner to be eligible, most important. From this list of referrals, I'm gonna pick someone. So someone that uses the Kudo Miner via my link, I'm gonna pick someone and they are gonna win the graphics card. The graphics card winner will be drawn on the 15th of March. Friday the 15th of March, I'll be going through my list of referrals and I'll be picking someone from that list. So you've probably got quite good odds of winning. I don't really know how many people are gonna enter. It could be 10, it could be 50, it could be 1,000. But regardless of, of those odds, they're all pretty good anyway. I mean, the, the graphics card is worth over $500. I think it's about 460 something pounds retail in the UK. So it's a really good prize. I'm really excited to be teaming up with Kudo Ventures, um, you know, to provide this to you guys. But that's how you enter. Okay guys, so I think I've covered pretty much everything. I'll be doing a few more follow-up videos with the Kudo Miner. Um, I'd like to get this set up and installed on Linux and also Mac OS. Um, so I know a few of you guys are more interested in those OS systems. So I'll be doing more follow-ups on it um, shortly. So that's it for me mining using the Kudo Miner. And we'll leave it there. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, give it a like if you did like it. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to add, put those in the comments area below. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. I put out content like this on a regular basis, sharing my crypto mining story, efforts, mining software, wallets, and all that kind of uh, stuff. And um, I share that obviously on a regular basis. So it'd be great to have you here uh, to check those videos out. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.